Hello everyone, my name is Shambhu. We hope you all are doing well. So, uh, today we are going to discuss about the Selenium Web Driver in detail. Okay, we already had out a um, overview, a little brief about the Selenium Web Driver in some of my previous videos, right? Now, what we are following is that we were going with the details with each and every of the Selenium sort of tools. So, we already covered about the IDE and RC. So, today we will be discussing about the Web Driver. Okay. Um, before moving forward with any of the things in the web driver, I just wanted to let you know that um, web driver is one of the very important and I would say this web driver is one of the very used suit of tools which we have in Selenium. Okay, so I request you to please make sure that you study about this web driver in a very clear and a very careful manner. Okay, fine. Let's get started out here. Uh, let me quickly take out a pen so as I could begin up the writing. Great. Um, let's first we'll discuss about the Selenium web driver. That's what it is actually. Okay. So I would start writing up here from here only. Um, so Selenium, Selenium web driver is, is the most Selenium web driver is the most important, is the most important component, most important component of Selenium, of Selenium tools, of Selenium tools suit. Okay, as I as well told you in the video starting that, um, whatever the set of tools we are having here in the selenium in among all of those set of tools this uh, selenium web driver is the most important one okay great then uh, okay what was the latest release of selenium that's the 2.0 okay that is uh, 2.0 okay now uh, one there's one actually important thing regarding that as well so i would just write it out only fine so uh, the latest release the latest uh, the latest release uh, that was Selenium, that was Selenium 2.0. Let me get down here. Uh, one, one second. Great. The latest release Selenium 2.0 is, is integrated, is integrated, is integrated with, is integrated with web driver, is integrated with web driver api is integrated with web driver api which which provides which provides a simple which provides a simple and which provides a simple and more concise concise programming interface and a more concise programming Programming interface. Um, here goes the interface. Great. So, uh, the latest release of Selenium that was 2.0. Uh, that is uh, that is actually integrated with the Web Driver API, which provides out a simple and more concise programming interface. Okay. Integrated means that uh, in that uh, the latest release in, of the Selenium, in that the Web Driver automatically already comes uh, with the Web with the Selenium. Okay. We, you have the WebDriver API in that, and that helps you to provide out a very simple and a more concise programming interface. This is the reason that why this um, latest release of Selenium is integrated with the WebDriver API. Okay, great. So uh, this was the important things regarding the um, regarding the Selenium. That first of all, what it was well, like, why it is uh, that much used nowadays. Secondly, that uh, how does this web driver API uh, helps in the integration with the Selenium, right? This, these are the two things which are to be noted up here. Next, next we have uh, some more things regarding the Selenium, uh, this web driver as well. So let's get down and write up those things as well. See, as I also mentioned up in the very start in the Selenium, web driver is one of the most important component of the Selenium suit of tools. So I'll be covering up this web driver in the very much detail. Okay. So let's go ahead here and here I would be again starting up with the Selenium. So Selenium web driver, Selenium web driver was, was first, 
was first introduced was first introduced so the selenium web driver was first introduced as a part as a part of selenium as a part of selenium uh, v2.0 okay, previously uh, selenium web drivers was very first introduced as a part of selenium v2.0 okay this was the one thing okay um, okay, what is that initial version of selenium that is the selenium uh, like V2O can contain that was it was contained the ID it contained up the RC and it contained up the grid fine. Then as soon as the, the new versions of selenium came and they they got they got more modified and more supportive in the way. Okay, so that was the thing. So now what happens completely in the web driver? Okay, what happens in the web driver? Let's say so in web driver test scripts, the test scripts which you wrote, which are test uh, which a developer wrote out. So in web driver, the test scripts can be developed, can be developed. Okay, so in web driver test scripts can be developed using any of the using using any of the supported using any of the supported one second get me down here so in web driver test script ticket written can be developed using any of the supported languages actually any other supported programming language so uh, like uh, here in the selenium web driver what happens are the supports uh, all of the programming languages whatever you you are aware of it it has it basically supports all of them okay uh, so languages here and um, okay and can be and can be run and can be run directly and can be run directly in most in most modern web browsers so whatever the test scripts you write first of all those can be written in any of the supported programming languages which the web driver supports and secondly the test test scripts which you have written that actually run directly in the most modern web browsers Right, so this is one of the, I would say one of the advantage and one of the thing that why web drivers uh, use a lot. So this is one of the reasons into, into that perspective case, okay. Now if I talk about, uh, we discussed about the RC. So I told you that the architecture, the framework of RC is very difficult, right, because we, you need out a separate uh, thing to be installed for uh, dealing up the test cases with the selenium rc right but uh, in web drivers it was uh, it was not the case right so here in the web drivers you do not need out any separate any separate platform or any separate ide for running up your uh, test scripts so whatever the test scripts you have written you could simply run them directly in the web browsers okay so hope i'm very much clear with that um great uh, okay, the languages which are supported, let me let you know that programming languages as well, which are supported. So, languages supported, uh, languages supported, let me get down here. Languages supported are, uh, you have C sharp, you have right here C sharp, you have Java, uh, Perl, Python, Ruby, PHP. So these are the different languages which are su supported by the Selenium web driver frame. Great. So hope I'm very much clear with the th th these things which I told you about uh, the Selenium web driver. So let me get back to above ones and let me revise up the things a little bit. So first of all, this is web driver is one of the most important components of the Selenium suit uh, of the Selenium suit of tools, right? It is one of the most important components. So the latest release of Selenium, which is there, so in that the web driver API comes integrated. Okay, and what does that do? It helps to uh, basically provide out a simple and more concise programming interface. Okay, now in web driver, whatever the test scripts you write down, those can be developed using any of the programming languages and that can be run directly in the most modern web browsers okay so the languages which are supported by you is the uh, sorry the languages which are supported by the web driver 
ऑल फॉर दिस वीडियो चिल्ड्रेन थैंक यू एंड टेक केयर